I've had a few viewers ask me about the homemade abrasive discs I use with my Dremel. I got the idea from 805 Road King. Go check out his channel. I sharpened the ends of an exhaust pipe adapter to cut out the discs. One end is inch and a quarter and one end is inch and a half. I've settled on the inch and a half diameter as what works best for me. Usually I just use the pipe adapter to score the abrasive, then I cut it out with scissors. I had just freshly sharpened it, so this time it made it all the way through. I used the mandrel that comes with the cutoff wheels. If your mandrel doesn't come with a small washer, I would recommend adding one. I just eyeball the center and poke a hole. If you're off a little bit, the disc will true itself during use. You can run one disc, but a lot of times I'll stack two on the mandrel. You can make the discs out of just about any abrasive material. The maroon and gray 3M pads I get at Home Depot are my favorites. This stuff is also from Home Depot. It's much more aggressive, but it wears down quickly. I got this stuff at a flea market. I wish I had bought more of it. I thought this rusty putty knife blade would be a good demonstration piece. First I'll use the aggressive 3M material. I like to start out on the lowest speed setting and then increase speed as the disc wears down. Here's a close-up of what the disc was able to do. I progress through my abrasive discs down to the superfine gray material. I especially like to use this super fine disc after the fiber wheel and before the flits. Here's the finish I was able to get on the putty knife blade. I wouldn't call it a mirror finish, but I think it's a good example of what you can achieve with the abrasive discs. I recommend giving the homemade abrasive discs a try. Let me know what you think of them. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. So Chuck got a package in the mail the other day. The folks at Flitz gave him a medal. He's going to be impossible to live with now.